guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for coming back so i'm absolutely loving this foxy eye trend at the moment i just love how it uplifts your eyes making you look super snatched and it just goes to show how making a few tweaks to your makeup can really change the way it looks and as always all of the items that i've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below in case you want to buy any of them so if you'd like to see my take on the foxy eye trend and the changes that I've made to my makeup to achieve this super snatched look, then please keep watching. So before we begin, I'm just making sure my hair is out of the way and I'm just applying my favorite Laneige lip sleeping mask all over my lips, just to make sure they are not dry or chappy for when we put lipstick. Then I'm taking a couple of pumps of my all-time favourite NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm in the shade Barcelona. I'm just applying a thin layer of this foundation all over my face. Then I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend all of the product in and it also just helps to pick up any excess product that might be on your skin. So it just prevents your skin from looking cakey. Then I'm adding a bit more foundation on the areas that I think need a bit more coverage because again we want our base to look flawless and we don't really want to be adding foundation to the areas that don't really need it. Then I'm also making sure that I'm blending the foundation well onto my neck and my ears as well. Next I'm taking Benefit's Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5 and I'm just using this to make sure I fill any sparse areas of my brows. I'm ever so slightly filling the top arch to give that illusion of lifted brows. It just makes that ever so slight difference and it just lifts your face overall. Then I'm just taking the spoolie end of the pencil and I'm just making sure it's all nicely blended so we don't have any harshness in the brows. Next, I'm taking NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm actually just trying to highlight the arch a little bit. So I'm just placing the product at the end of the arch and I'm just blending that with the tip of my fingers just to make sure we've removed any discoloration and highlighted the eyebrow area a bit more. Then I'm just taking a brush and I'm just making sure the concealer is in place, it's nice and blended. It also just helps to pick up any excess product that we may have on the eyelids. Then I'm taking my favourite Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush and just placing it on my eyelid just to make sure the concealer doesn't budge or anything like that. Now moving on to my favourite part of this look, the eyes, I'm using the beautiful modern renaissance palette from ABH and I'm taking the shade burnt orange on my M14 brush and I'm just using that as a transition colour so I'm just applying that all over the lid to give it a nice wash of colour. Once I'm happy with that I'm deepening the crease and just focusing the colour towards the tail end of my brow. I'm trying to wing the colour out a bit giving it a cat eye shape. Once I'm happy with the pigment and everything like that, I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber, which is a beautiful cool brown, and I'm using an angled brush to create a soft wing. I'm just trying to carve out the shape, so it doesn't really need to be perfect or anything like that. But once you've got the shape of the wing in, you just want to be blending it all together so it doesn't look harsh. Then I'm going in and deepening the colour a bit more. I'm just using a cotton bud to just clean the wing out and just to make it look a bit more sharper. I'm also using it as a guide because you don't want to be putting shadow that's further than your wing, if that makes sense. I'm just tapping my brush into the shades Red Ochre and Love Letter and I'm just adding the colour onto my lid. It just helps your lids to pop a bit more and then I'm just going back to my wing and deepening that. I basically keep going back and forth until I'm happy with the pigment for the time being. Then I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Natural Beige. And this is a new concealer trick that I've learned. I'm basically only placing this on three places, close to my wing, nearer the nose and then at the bottom of my eye. And since I've started doing this, I've realised that I don't actually need that much concealer. So just by placing your concealer strategically on three places, you can literally just get the job done. Now I'm just using a brush to blend the concealer at the end of the eye. And I'm not diffusing the line completely because I want that concealer line to be prominent. It just gives an uplifted look and that's basically what we're after. 
I am going in with my blending brush just to blend the rest of the concealer in as per usual. Then I'm also applying the concealer on my chin, forehead and a little bit on my nose like I normally do just to brighten that up a little bit more. Then I'm dipping into my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and then I'm using these two shades right here. I'm placing the contour pretty high up on my cheek because we want to give the illusion of higher cheekbones for a more chiseled face. So I love this contour palette because it's basically an ABH dupe. I love cool shades for my contour as well because they give a better, more sharper and defined look and that's what we're after. I'm also just contouring my forehead and my jawline just to pull everything in together. And I'm taking a tapered, more defined brush and I'm actually contouring the bridge of my nose and I'm trying to connect it with my eyebrow just to tie everything in together. And I'm also just going to be blending it to make sure there are no harsh lines. I am then going to be baking my under eye to set them and I'm also going to bake the area under my contour because we really want the cheekbones to pop. We really want to focus on the contour on the cheekbones and by making the area under it brighter the face starts to look a lot more chiseled and it just gives a nice structure to the face. Now while that bakes I'm going to go back and finish my eyes. For this I'm using my NYX matte eyeliner and I'm just going to be putting some of the product at the back of my hand. Then I'm just going to use the brush to make that wing a little bit more precise. A brush just helps to darken that wing a little bit more. Then I'm going in with the actual brush of the NYX liner and I'm really really defining and sharpening the whole wing out. I'm just going to be defining my inner corner but I'm also exaggerating it because we really want to give the effect of a true PI. So by exaggerating the inner corner, the wing starts to look a lot higher than it is and it just gives the eyes a nice almond shape. Then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm just swiping all of the powder away. So now it just looks nice and bright. Now moving on to mascara and for this I'm using my Glossier Mascara. But rather than flicking my eyelashes upwards, I'm actually going to be directioning it to the side. So in the direction of the wing. This just helps to elongate the eyes and while I wait for the first layer of mascara to dry, I'm going to use the brown that we used earlier in our crease on the lower lash line. I'm not going to be taking it all the way in, I'm just defining the outer part of my eye. Then I'm actually using my Maybelline mascara because this one's so good for when you want your mascara to be heavier and I'm flicking it to the side like we did earlier. I'm just adding a bit more mascara to my lower lashes as well. Now just to make the pink on the eyelid a bit brighter, I'm dipping into my ABH palette and I'm just patting the colour onto the lid. I'm not trying to blend it or anything like that because we just want the pigment to pop. And then just to finish the eyes off, I'm going to tightline using my MAC Teddy Eye Pencil. Finally, a bit of blush onto the cheeks just to add colour. So I'm using Milani's Dolce Vita blush. It's so similar to the NARS Orgasm and it's just a beautiful flush of pink on the cheek. I'm making sure it's nice and bright because we really want to tie the eyes and the whole face in together. To outline my lips, I'm using MAC Soul Lip Liner. I'm actually just slightly overlining my bottom lip just to make them look a bit bigger. But it's important not to overline the sides of your lips because that's when the lips start to look unnatural. I'm using NYX Madeline Lip Gloss on the top. Last final thing, I'm just making sure I highlight the high points of my face. So that's my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the eyebrow arch and just a little bit on my cupid's bow and my lips. I really like putting highlight at the center of my lips because I really feel like it draws everything in together. I'm just going to set my face with Max Prep and Prime and that's about it guys. I think foxy eyes are going to be my new favorite thing. I just love the way they turned out. You can just really make the eyes bolder or softer depending on what look you're going for. So it's super versatile. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am using this time to really brush up my skills, trying different ways of doing my makeup. So I really hope this has been useful. If it was, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.